a book. You remember how to read this Me word? Uh, no, Cody. I know, Cody. Perfect. And how about to carry? Hakon, Hakobu. Perfect. Hakobu. How about this word? Tai. In this case, this is O. O. Kobe. Close. It is yo do Kobe. So like, it is have Kobe here. Yoroko. Yorokobi. What does Yorokobu mean? Yorokobi is. Echo. Good guess. That is hibiku. Hibiku is echo. Looks like this. Kind of similar shaped with a kind of like an oto kind of look to them. Yorokobu means to be happy. Here it's in a noun, o yorokobi, which had its sudu added to it to mean to be doing super happy, which was a sentence. Um, Yowatteru ningen o mitsukete. Which is a night that looks like the kind of night that a darkness eating snake, which is something that um attacks human beings that look weak that they find, that that snake would be happy about. Oh, how do you read this kanji again? Yorokobi. Perfect. Yorokobi. To be happy. So here's what the main character thinks after being told, give me a book. Mochiron, Yorokonda. Yorokonde. With, with happiness, of course. Yes, of course, I'd love to, is uh, the closest we'd go at. Yorokonde. And it is a little odd to have the de if you think about it, but because normally that's like an order. Mochiron, Yorokonde. I like Yorokon Day do. Of course, I'm happy. I'd love to do that. Um, you know what harao means? Harao, to pay. It does mean to pay, correct. Now, this kanji, harao, came to mean to pay due to the idea behind it. Do you know what it's like the main meaning of harao so to pay is like the metaphor meaning kind of like it's not really a metaphor because it's commonly used but it's like it's kind of like from that what harao normally means I... to mean to wipe yeah it does specifically to, to sweep mean... um which is a kind of wiping it is to wipe away something to sweep away something which is of course being used to pay because you're wiping away your debt. Harao. Perfect. Um, can you read this mm. part for me? Heya o tsukiri. Heya o tsukiri. Ah, what is he saying? Saying, um... Ah, cross the room. Yep, Tsukiri is to cross through, and Heya is room, to cross through the room. Um, Do you remember how to read this? Kumo no sa. Close, not sa, it is su. Su. What is a kumo no su? Web of sleep. Yeah. Kumo no su. Right. Can you read this for me? Agara kuta. Hi. So ga from waga, raku from easy, and ta from lots. Um, Garaku da means junk or rubbish. 
Garakuda. A bunch of things that I thought were fun, which is junk. Garakuda. Garakuta. Do you know what yokeru means? Gara. Break. Be broke. Be broken. Sadly, no. That's some kawareteru. And some other words also mean broken. There's a lot of ways to say broken. Yokeru is to dodge. Or to avoid. Yokeru. To avoid. Go around something. Hi. What is the top form of yokeru? Top form of yokeru. Yoketa. Hi, yoketa. Can you read this phrase for me? The sentence? Uh, yani. Yaku. Yaku ni tata. Nai. Um. Deshi wa garakuta. Oh. Yoke nakata. The apprentice who is useless, he go around, he dodges the rubbish. Nakata? Yoke nakata. He come to dodge. Come to dodge the... Oh, Naru. Hi, hi. Uh, remember that we kind of vaguely talked about this, but verbs and Naru don't really go with each other. You can't really say tabe ni Naru. That's not really something you can say in Japanese. But you can say tabe naku. Naku naru. Which is the negative form. Because theoretically, anything that ends with nai is a e adjective. So naku naru is possible. But naru doesn't actually go with verbs. So yokeru cannot become yoke ni naru. It should be yoke ni natta. That is not grammatically possible. If you wanted to have a kind of feeling like nara with it, we vaguely talked about this before. You'd use kuru. Yokete kuru. To come to be avoided. To come to be dodged. So that would become kita. Yokete kita. Um, which in most connotations, rather mean the come to be dodged, we would probably more likely assume the other meaning of kita, which is to come to some kind of location. Like to go and come back or to um, do that type of thing. But things are based off of context. So this is nakatta. Na plus kata. Kata, ka, well, stop, ta, is the past tense form of e adjectives. For example, kawaii is cute. Kawakata is was cute. So what do you think yoke nakata means? Did not. Hi. Did dodge. not dodge. Did. Hi. The useless apprentice did no. not avoid or did not dodge the junk. Watasu. This did is a word we've seen a lot in this book. Do you know what watasu means? To cross. It does mean to cross. In the context we're going to be seeing this watasu, it means to hand over. As in you're handing something across to another person. What that's it. Um, what is the top form of what that's it? What the what shita. Perfect. What shita. Okay. Um, how do you read this word again? Oh, so. Perfect. Nice. Now you can go read the line from the book. Kabao Utatsu Tomo Watatsuto. Nebari wa Kagak wa Garakutao Yokete. 
Heyao Tsukiri Suede Kumo no Tsun O Harai Nagara Semai Kaidan O Nobote Ita I Watasu I give over to Tatsu Tomo the two or both both of the kaban o to afterward nebari wa hi garakta o yokete he dodges the the uh, rubbish heya o tsukiri he crosses the room duede with the stick he uh kumo no tsu o harai nagara he he um harai is um he wipes away he sweep right. he sweep the spider web uh while he was doing this uh semi kaidan o Nobote ita. He climbs the the thin stair stairway. Right. Perfect. And just so you know, this yokete does not have a comma. So what does that mean with yokete and tukiri, as like um the events occurring? It's one and then the other. Close. That'd be if there was a comma. Comma means this happens and then the second thing happens. When there's not a comma, it tends to mean these both kind of happen around the same time. So he's dodging the garbage as he crosses the room. So it's like as versus while, which is basically the same way. So you could see he could you could say yoke um yoke nagara heyo tuki. It that just feels like so basically, this is the same as him wiping away the um. This if these two actions are more separate from each other, right? He doesn't have to. Like this is like a separate thing to be doing while he's climbing the stairs, versus this is more like the sameish action occurring. He's crossing the room, and in order to cross the room, he has to dodge the garbage. Is uh, what they're doing, so that's why there's no um comma there. Rather than saying he dodges the garbage and then he crosses the room, isn't really what they're saying because the room is full of junk. A bunch of junk in the room that he has to go around in order to cross it. Um, can you read this I, for me? My sagaru. Sagaru would be the shita sagatte. This one right here is ue. So how is it read? Agaru. Hi, agaru. My agaru. So agaru means up, and my is um dance in a fluttery kind of way. So my agaru means to be like whirled up. Like, and this is something that ha will happen like with bugs and dust and things like that. Any kind of whirling upward motion. My agaru. Um, do you remember what hokori meant? Hokori is uh, dust. Hi, dust. What is the top form of my agaru? My agata. Hi. Um, let's go read the sentence. Ichidan agaru. Tabi ni Hokori ga mai agaru. You know what tabi ni means? Uh, it's the same kanji from ichido. Tabi. Ichido. One, one degree. Mo ichido itte karasai. When he's when he step up one stair, when he right. agaru, when he go up, down, 
ichi dan one step uh tabi ni meaning another kind of what does ichi do mean ichi do meaning one well one is ichi what does do mean for example mo ichi do one... itte kudasai oh one more yeah one more this do means oh. more specifically more times right mo ichi do itte kudasai Please say it one more time. So it's times. The more is actually time. the more here. More is more. So ichido, the do is Those time. Counter. So one time. One more time. Mo ichido. So tabi means times. So contextually, this means every time. Every time that ichida nagaru. Every time he goes up one step. What happens? Hokori ga mai agaru. The dust swirl up. Yep, he gets some dust gets picked up as he gets all roll up. Um, do you know what no kosu meant? No kosu. Leftovers. Hi, how is that different than no kori? This is a verb. They're both Nokosu verbs. Is to leave. Onokori, onokori, onokori is to have a lot of words. So the difference is, uh, is that um, nokoru is the one that takes ga and nokosu is the action one. So this sentence says, Yojinbo wa koku ni nokoshite moraitai. I want you to leave your bodyguard here. Versus nokoru would insinuate the bodyguard was left. Jojinbo wa nokotta. So this wa here is replacing o. So nokosu means you ditch something. I, the subject, ditch. I leave something behind. Nokosu. What is the passive form? Nokosu. I leave something into I, I was left behind. Nokosu. Into passive. No kosa re ru. Yep, no kosa re ru. He left behind. Okay, let's go read the sentence. Kosa re ru. It sounds like no kori. No kori. It is. It is. It is very similar. No koru and no kosu are um the same verb nokoru takes ga and nokosu takes o nokosu has intent someone decided to leave something behind nokoru you can't actually describe someone doing nokoru like nokori pai right no nokori mono that is a leftover thing right it doesn't really matter who did the leaving over the matter is that the thing was left over. So nokosu has a little bit of it mattering who does the thing. Somebody nokosued somebody. Hi. Ore wa beneto to isho ni nokosareta. I together with the net uh the both of us is shown me sarada we was left behind yep we were left behind or Contest i was left behind with Bennett together with Bennett who left them behind contextually Nobody. Yes, nobody left me behind. That's why we're using nokosu. If it was nokotta, ishu ni nokotta, that would insinuate they were almost like accidentally left behind. Like, uh, nobody was like, I'll be back. And like, just teleport. Like, no, I mean, I'll be back. He was like, he was going to teleport you guys, um, but accidentally you didn't grab on fast enough or something. So you, so nokotta would feel almost accidental. 
in this um, context. But here it's purposeful. Nebody was like, boy, clean up the room. Nebody, I mean, Bennett, you also clean. I'm going up real fast. You know, um, Nebody purposely left them behind. So that, that's why you'd use one versus the other. Um, do you remember what this word was? Hi. None. No, ni, ni motu. Hi, ni motu. Luggage. Perfect. Do you remember this word? Ote. Perfect. What does that mean? Catch up or to nope. chase. Yes, to chase. Hi. Perfect. And here is our last sentence. No, probably not last sentence of the day. One more sentence. Veneto. <laughs> Right. But Ned, he picked up while he was holding the baggage by himself and he chased after nobody perfect nice and do you remember how to read this word mm, perfect and how about this one Yoroponde. perfect um do you know how to read that kanji in the middle furikaisu yeah Furikaita. It is from kaisu though. Kairu kaita. Do you know what furikaita means? To repeat. Hi. Um. It doesn't mean that. Um. Furikaita should be the look behind you. Like the turn back. Turn your head behind. You. Turn back. Hi. Furikaita. Can you read this word for me? Furikaita. Furi uh, just muku. Furi mu muku. Mukau, as you can see, ka is not over the kanji. The kanji is still only mu. Mukau, muku. The kanji is read as mu. Furi muku means the furi to shake or to turn. Muku in a direction. So furi muku means to turn in a direction. So furi kairu specifically means to turn 180 degrees. Normally just your head. But um, so if you're looking this way, you're going to furi kairu to turn around to where you came. You're gonna, sh you're gonna shake all the way around. Muku though, that could be in any direction. You could go 45 degrees or something. It's just your, when one direction, you're changing to a new direction. Furimuku, turning in a different direction. Um, what is the negative form of furimuku? Furimukanai. Perfect. Do you know what todoku means? Todoku. Arrive. Yep, to arrive. Perfect. What's the negative form to arrive? Todokanai. Perfect. Can you read this sentence for me? Tegami ga todokanakata. Did not arrive. Perfect. What did not arrive? Perfect. What is volitional form of iku? Iko. Perfect. Uh, iko. What does ato zusatta mean? Ato zusatta. Chirichito. Basically means to retreat, retreat, to kind of make yourself go ato, make yourself go like behind somebody. So you're kind of 
taking a couple steps back. Uh, GDGD is like kind of cautiously, kind of slowly. What is the terraform of this word? Furi. Mo. Furi mo it mo ita. Yep, furi mo ita. What does that mean? Furi muku. Furi. Furi muku is to turn. Right, to turn towards. And what does ato dusaru mean? Ato. Ato. Zusaru is retreat. Hi, perfect. Go, be, go, go back. Nice. And here is our last sentence of the day. Ore mo suite iko to sita ga baneto ga kaida no sita. Chica de at Pachido Mate Ore no ho free muita no de te no to to do canai basho e a basho e to ato zusata. I think you might want to go study shika a little bit because I keep on hearing you do shika, which is not below. Shika is a deer. And I, I've heard you do that multiple uh, times. So maybe get a little Anki deck or get some note cards and just do shita, shita, shita. No deer here. Shita. <laughs> shita. Um, suite iko, volitional form. Right. I follow. I also follow Toshita, meaning I try to follow. Hi, I also try to follow Ga. You call Toshita Ga. However, Beneto, he Kaidan no Shita de. Tachi do mate. He stand. He's he's he stop at a, he come to he he ha, he's standing he stop at the bottom of the kaidan. Um. Ore no bo o. Furi mui, furi mui ta. I turn towards Ore no wo. Ore no ho. Who who's our subject of this? He turns. Yeah. Benetto. He turns towards my direction. My ore no ho. Hi. The second and part no though, I am doing this section. Ore wa um ato zusata. That's um contextual though. Hi, uh, he here's a comma here. Is what you say, te no to do ka nai did not return to my hand. Te no to do ka nai. He he did not return to my hand and then Basho e to If it's if it's ten no to dokanai, is there a period here? How are you ending? Oh, the that? place Hi. Hi. The Basho I my brain got tricked, money because they split the 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 typing there into two lines. So, so sorry. <laughs> you gotta look at what but, but it ends nonetheless, with. Hi, nonetheless, I I need to understand it in terms of grammar. Uh, so the plays that did not return 
to my hand. I don't understand this. So God, no place. let's let's go back to the example sentence we had. Tegami ga todoka nakatta. What does that mean? The letter did not return. Perfect. So if I said like, bie ni todo todoka nakatta, what would that mean? The house that I did not return. Is it? We're using ni here, not ga. Particles are very important I did in Japanese. I did not return to the house. Yes. the Whatever the subject of the sentence is, did not return to the house. Similarly, here, the one not doing returning is the tegami. So ni marks the destination of returning, and the ga is marking what is returned. So over here in this sentence, we have ten no. No in relative clauses is a replacement of ga. It is not a replacement of ni. So contextually, we know it is basho ni te ga todokanai. Is what this used to be. So what does that mean? The hand. It's say the hand that did not return to the. Yes. The it's hand, saying that the, ha the, the hand did not go to the place. Because sudoku is to not to return. It is to arrive at. The hand here is Benetto's hand. And the one doing ato dzatta is ore. This is like a weird idea to think about, but it makes sense contextually. How close is the main character to Benet? Very close. Hi, but does he right want to be close to Benet? No. Yeah, because Bennett's scary, right? Earlier, Bennett punched him in the face. So because of that, Hi. right, when when Bennett stops at the bottom of the stairs and turns around to look at me, I... What do you think he does? I pull back. Where do you think he pulls back to? I pull back to the basho that the hand did not return to. Right, meaning the hand he got cannot return out to. of Because earlier he was Nasugu. Yeah. Wakio we, Nasugu. Probably pretty close, Masugu. But Masugu's not didn't specifically mention him there. Um the main character was about to go up the stairs with Bennett because he also wanted to go with Nebody. But busy, but do you know how todoku is different than the word to return? How is that different than kaeru? Kaeru is to return to your original location. Hi, how about modoru? Modoru Is to return. I don't know. Hi. So kaeru like this oh. is a item returns. Kaisu is I return something. Modoru is I return to a location. So modoru is what you're translating to dokunai as. Te no modoranai basho is how you've been translating todoku. Todoku does not mean return. That is not a meaning of todoku. What does todoku mean? Todoku. Todoku is arrive. Yes, to arrive. So, in other words, a place to reach, a place that he can reach. So, I step back to a location that Bennett cannot reach, that Bennett's hand cannot get to, because Bennett's hand might punch me. If I was in close enough reach for it to um, get to me. So this arrival word is being used to refer to someone's reach. A place that, that Bennett's hand cannot arrive to. That is where I retreated to. Hi. Hi. 
So he definitely, before he at those Zeta, was close enough that when Nebedi Furimuku could have punched him, but he made sure to whew, jump backwards. Okay. So that is where 